Hello students, yesterday we saw about the general equation of a circle and today what we're going to do is we're actually going to learn about how you can find the radius of a circle knowing two points uh, by using a derivation of the distance formula. Alright, so the distance formula is something that you guys are familiar with. Uh, we did it last semester uh, when we had two points and I wanted to find the straight line distance between those two points. And what I saw was that the distance is equal to the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. Now what's interesting is that this formula itself comes from our Pythagorean theorem. So if we're thinking about the distance between two points, let's say just here and here, and I'm trying to find this straight line distance between them, then what I do is I form a right triangle using the x and y coordinates and that will actually uh, help me find the distance. So we have a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here and a distance of 4 here. So this straight line distance using Pythagorean theorem will just be a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So this C that I'm looking for, this straight line distance, is actually just coming from my Pythagorean theorem. And that's where this formula came from, is that this is going to be just a, another version of Pythagorean theorem. All right, so let's use our radius formula then. So if we say that our radius is the distance between two points, one being the center and one being one on the edge of the circle, we say that R is equal to the square root of, we're going to call the center x0 minus x1 will be our point plus the y of the center minus y1 for a point on the edge of the circle. So what this will look like is if we have our circle here and we choose our center and then I choose some point on the edge and I'm trying to find the radius, I'm forming this right triangle to do so. All right, so let's take a look at it, the example. So in example six, we're given that our center is at one comma four and the point on the circle is three comma four. So we'll go ahead and plug it into our formula. We're looking for radius is equal to the square root. My center x value is 1, so we say 1 minus, and then I'm just going to fill this, plus my center y value will be 4, and we'll say minus. All right, so 1 minus 3. So my point, the x value is 3, and the y value is 4, so 4 minus 4 squared. And so we get r is equal to the square root of 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So this would be negative 2 squared plus 0. Or r is equal to the square root of negative 2 squared. Or r is equal to the square root of 4. And because we're working in geometry, the main thing that we need to know is that um, this will actually be an absolute value. So r is equal to 2. There's no chance of it being negative. So furthermore, we could say that just r is equal to this. So just remember this is an absolute value. So a distance is never negative. All right, let's look at a slightly more complicated example. So we've got our circle center. So again, we're going to be solving for the radius. The radius is equal to the square root of the x value is negative 1 minus something squared plus the y value is negative 3. Oh, I'm sorry. The y value of my original point, x0 and y0, this will be 2 minus something. And then this will be x1 and y1. So it's going to be negative 1 minus a negative 3. So that's going to be plus 3. And then 2 minus 
4 squared. All right, so let's just evaluate this. So we get 2 squared plus 2 minus 4 is negative 2 squared. So this is equal to the square root of, all right, so we'll see 4 plus 4. And so we get that r is equal to the square root of 8. But we know that that's not proper form. So we say that r is equal to, we have to factor this out into a perfect square and something else. So the 4 will be able to pop out here. And we're going to get 2 square root of 2. So my final answer here will be r is equal to 2 square root 2. So as you can see, this is just taking some ideas that we've already known, our Pythagorean theorem, our distance formula, and now our circles, and we're kind of tying them together. So we see how these objects are related. Um, so your reflection today is going to be in a sentence or two, describe how to find the radius of the circle if given the center and a point on the circle. Have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, let me know. Goodbye.